The Donning 2023 is here. Today, guys, we're going to be talking about how to optimize this event. Everything from farming Donning spirits to essences to cooking ingredients. The goal here is to get all these things with preferably the least amount of effort. And that is the Destiny way. Now, keep in mind, guys, you can play however you want. You do not have to optimize. And you do have a number of days to take advantage of this event. Now, I know in-game, if you go look, it actually says the event's going to be on for the next 74 days. But on Bungie's website, the event ends in January. I don't know which one is wrong, but regardless, I want to get the god rolls for these weapons, as well as that oh-so-sexy donning memento, as quickly as we can. Now, before we even begin to do anything, guys, I need you to equip that Starfarer 7M ship from Season 12. Now, if you don't have it, don't worry. Eve Levante will have it. You can literally get it for free. But this ship will grant you a chance to generate donning spirit whenever finding a donning ingredient. This will save you so much time, guys, because you need donning spirits for pretty much everything upgrades focusing weapons and having a passive way of giving yourself donning spirit throughout this event is extremely helpful so again the starfare ship please equip that now to start this year's event just like the previous years you'll have to talk to eva in the tower to obtain the donning quest she'll give you a quest as well as some ingredients and pretty much everything you need to bake a single cookie for zavala now if your ingredients are not in your inventory it may be because it's full most notably that donning essence so go and check postmaster guys you'll have those 15 essence probably sitting there if your inventory is full now you can access the holiday oven in the quest tabs and if you've done the previous years of the donning and acquired all previous cookies you can masterwork your oven right out the gate there are no new cookies this year nimbus ain't getting nothing now it's incredibly important to masterwork your oven as this will reduce the essence required to bake a single cookie from 15 to now 10 and what this means is for my new players that are playing for the first time maybe this is your first donning event Event, you want to prioritize master working this oven as in go out there make every single cookie so that you can master work your oven as this will save you lots of time by conserving your donning essence now back in the day you used to actually have to track down recipes but in the oven itself you can see the recipes for each cookie as well as the ingredients and how to get each of them such a great change though guys and the way this is broken down is the blues those ingredients are the ingredients you get for how you kill enemies or things like multi kills precision kills kills, etc. And the greens are the ingredients you get for the type of enemy that you kill. But all of this is labeled down below so you can see it right there inside of the oven without having to go like scour Reddit or the internet or anywhere else. Now to go on to the next quest up, you need to make Zavala a Galardoodle, then deliver it to him. Next, you'll have to claim rewards for the first event challenge. This will give you a new emblem and unlock all the hidden challenges. Now these challenges award you with different items, things like shaders, upgrade materials, an exotic ship, a new donning weapon, called Albedo Wing, which is the glaive. And you can actually unlock Albedo Wing by getting 100 snowball kills. But you can also do it by getting a number of art kills. Now, if you're looking to get the donning seal done, you have to complete all of these challenges and more. And these can be found on your titles page under the Star Baker seal. Now, after you've already claimed your rewards from that first event challenge, return to Eva and she'll give you some donning spirits. And it's with this donning spirit, you will purchase one of her mini upgrades. Now, this upgrade nets you a boon of friendship every day. And these boons of friendships are consumables that will grant a donning reward to your fire team upon completion of a playlist activity with additional rewards based on the number of players with boons active this effect lasts until a reward is earned i know a lot of us forget these boons even exist but take advantage of them now next you'll also get another quest from eva that requires you to bake a bunch of cookies which means it's time to go ingredient hunting and this quest is seven steps long and each step just has you bake more cookies until you've baked them all eventually unlock and the ability to masterwork your oven if you haven't already. Now, Eva will also have another quest, but if it's not showing up, go to orbit and then return to the tower and she should have it. This new quest is called Winter Night, requiring you to get snowball and upgraded snowball final kills, as well as bake a classic butter cookie for Eva. Now, the reason why this quest is so important is that the end reward for this is the new memento. Now, snowballs are dropped by combats when defeated by weapons, by guardian abilities in free roam locations, or in the Vanguard Ops playlist, and it roughly took around four strikes to get all the required snowball kills. Now, to get the upgraded snowball kills, you need to have either the Long Winter or Stay Frosty snowball upgrades. Now, upon doing all this and getting the memento, additional mementos can be acquired simply from opening gifts in return once you've gotten your first memento. So again, you cannot get them until you've completed this quest. And like previous mementos, you can only hold one at a time. But it's sexy, so apply it to everything while you can. FOMO, am I 
All right. Now let's talk about how this event works. What is the gameplay loop? What are we looking at? And what are the best farms? Essentially, guys, you earn ingredients by defeating different combats and by using specific weapons, elements, and abilities. Once again, you can find the exact ingredient and how to get it within the oven itself. Now, the other thing you're going to have to get is donning essence. And you get that by completing various activities throughout the system. Trust me, guys, we have a farm method here, which is by far the best farm in the entire game. And then finally, you combine ingredients with donning essence to bake cookies, which can then be delivered to vendors across the system in exchange for rewards. Now, the rewards will include donning spirits, but occasionally they will include a gift in return, which can then be open for unique donning weapons and rewards. Now, unlike other events that have an actual activity, this is going to be your main way to unlock weapons along with the event challenges. Now, you redeem donning spirit through Eva in order to empower your ingredient gathering capabilities, unlock new gift options, and harness the power of snowballs. Essentially, guys, you want to get these upgrades. These are very important, and I would definitely prioritize this first. Now, you can earn donning spirit from event challenges, from delivering cookies, from boon of friendship rewards, but again, the biggest one being from the Starfarer 7M ship, by simply having that equipped while you're getting ingredients, you will be passively getting those donning spirits. Now, in order to focus the new donning weapons, you'll also need to get upgrades, those being the gift rapid exchange ticket and the limited exchange ticket. And this roughly equals out to 70 donning spirit. And that's why donning spirit here is so important. And again, just making cookies and delivering them will net you a ton. And just doing the donning bounties will also give you donning spirits. Now, another 70 donning spirits will give you enough to purchase the perky presence and perkier presence upgrades, which will give you the chance to roll multiple perks in the left and right columns of the donning weapons. This is why I say it's so important to get these upgrades first before you start really grinding for these weapons. You've got double perks in the left and right columns. That is more opportunities for you to potentially get that god roll, which we covered earlier when going over rolls. Now, we will be reviewing all of these weapons individually. I really want to see if this glaive is worth it. It's got some unique stuff on it too, man. It's got like beacon rounds, but there are tons of weapons here that got new additional perks that look really good. The SMG, Glacial Chasm, which by the way has controlled bursts. We've got some juicy stuff here, guys that we're going to be looking at very soon. Now, let's talk real briefly about event challenges. These are located on the quest screen. All of these are very much straightforward, though. The good thing about these event challenges is that it allows you to unlock the weapons. You see, you can't actually start target looting anything until you've unlocked the weapons. Now, you can do that via RNG when you actually go in there and turn in for Ingrams with Eve Levante. But again, if you're like me, you just get the machine gun over and over and your RNG is trash. But if you're like, yo, I just want the SMG and nothing else, but well, then you can go look up the event challenge for the SMG there, get the associated kills necessary for the SMG, and then you'll unlock it and you'll get a roll from that event challenge. And that's the same for all the weapons here on this list. Now you can also upgrade the event card. It costs a thousand silver. Personally, I'm not that crazy about it, but if you really want these cosmetics, which is the only thing you get from it, you can get them. And this will instantly unlock the exotic emotes, the sparrow, the shader, and allow you to spend event tickets on the exotic ghost shell, this exotic emote, transmat effects, and a ghost projection. Now, as far as like the donning armor, that is present in the Eververse store. You can purchase it one of two ways, either through silver or through bright dust, both of which are kind of expensive, especially the bright dust being 6,000. But I know a lot of you probably are sitting on a ton of bright dust. And again, you can farm bounties and stuff to get bright dust if you're looking to go that route. But keep in mind, it's 6,000 for every class. So if you want to buy it for your main, or if you're just trying to buy an armor set that looks the best, depending on the class, definitely check it out first. Buying it one time does not unlock these armor sets for all classes. Now, moving on to the farms. We need to talk essence farm. There are two ways to really farm essences. And I know there's the first contact mission, which is not bad. I find the checkpoint to just really be bugged. The two methods I'm going to give you. One is legendary lost sectors. And you can actually run this with a team. It would take you roughly two minutes with a full squad. Of course, it depends on the lost sector. The day is on Europa and it's pretty easy. And this will net you about 20 essence. Now, the beautiful thing about this is that you can also run it solo. You could do it in a about five minutes or faster depending on your build you can get roll drops exotics other things and in the process also get essence the lost sector method is completely fine however in my opinion the easiest farm is shattered throne primarily the boss checkpoints what you do in this situation guys is you trade the checkpoint off you save it on one character you let your fire team join you you then swap off to your main character that you're trying to get essence on and then you just kill this boss you've got these three big knights in front of you make quick work of them and then shred the boss down. Now, let me just say the best thing to do damage at this boss is Warcliffe Coil. The way this boss is coded, War 
Warcliff coil absolutely melts here. Literally one shot from each of you with Warcliff will down this boss instantly. Now keep in mind, when you load in here, you don't have your super. You immediately load in. There's no rally flag. There's no nothing. So that's why I'm saying Warcliff is good because you load in with two rockets in your Warcliff. Just make sure when you kill those big knights that you pick up those orbs on the ground before doing damage as that will maximize your damage. Now this roughly takes two minutes as well. You get 21 essence. The difference is, is that the law sector, that method is really dependent on what the law sector is. We're Shattered Throne. This is two minutes every single time. From the moment I would actually load in, then have my fire team load in on me, then swap characters, and then load back in on my main, get the kill, and then swap off to the other character with the checkpoints. This was about a minute and 50 to two minutes long. A very fast way to get essence, guys. Now, if you're looking for checkpoints over my Discord, we've got people trading out checkpoints, and you could definitely take advantage of Shattered Throne. Or, again, play the game how you want. Do ritual playlist activities. There's no rush. You don't gotta have all this today. You don't even have to farm Legend Lost Sectors. You absolutely don't have to optimize essence. We just like doing it because we like to get the gear with the God Rolls as quickly as we can. Now, this takes us to farming ingredients. I have a number of methods. One of them is extremely annoying to get. The other one is much easier. With the third being feasible, but requires a little more effort. Let's start with the hardest one here. There is an AFK checkpoints in the mission, The Deep. This is a Shadow Keep mission. I think it's the third mission. There is no way to trade this checkpoint off. As far as I know, the only way you can have this mission is if you just started playing and you haven't been Shadow Keep yet and you happen to be at this mission. Or you delete a character, start another character, and now you have this checkpoint. Very, very annoying, I know. But it's this area right here, guys, where you activate the lectern and you just have all these hive enemies coming at you constantly. Now, I just sit here with Lorley. Literally just sit in my sunspot and I don't move. I let these ads run in over and over. I collect my ingredients and this nets me a ton of stuff. This is just a time lapse of everything that drops. Now, is this boring? Obviously. We're AFK farming, guys. You come back in every 10 minutes. You shake your mouse a little bit. You've got Lorley on. You've got Soul Invictus and this is RuneScape farming at its finest. Now, again, this is very much dependent on whether or not you've beaten Shadow Keep. There is no way to trade this checkpoint off. But if you do have a friend that has this checkpoint, like we did, we were able to join up and then they would leave, allowing us to continue to farm. And we may have some people in our Discord that's going to be trading that away. Now, the easiest farm to do is King's Fall. And it's in the Gorgoroth maze. You see, after completing War Priest, you will proceed into this maze, but you do not want to progress to Gorgoroth. You want to stay in this maze, guys. Now, I also want to mention that you cannot pass the checkpoint to someone who is currently in the maze. In order to actually pass the checkpoint, you need to join on them in orbit and then they will load up the raid and then that will actually pass you that checkpoint you don't need a wipe just simply load in now to get to this afk spot where i say afk spot you got to be somewhat active and we're going to talk about it in just a moment you navigate through the maze though the directions are right left left right right it is at this spot right here guys that cursed thrall and taken thrall will spawn infinitely and you want to make sure you choose this spot there are other spots but this is the best one now the beautiful thing about this is that yes you can do this solo but you can also just join up on people that are actively getting kills and this will give you materials now keep in mind it won't give you a ton of blues it'll give you greens based on the enemy that you're killing but because they're actively getting certain kind of kills they are actually the ones that are going to be getting those blue ingredients now i would get things like multifaceted which seems to work here because my teammates are getting those multi kills that's fine but at the same time guys you could just load into this thing solo you could put on a weapon like trinity ghoul hell even sunshine and just sit there and keep shooting over and over now if you did something like trinity ghoul you can get multifaceted flavors electric flavor taking butter kind powder and again these ingredients will allow you to make bright dusted snowballs and etheric cold snaps what you don't want to do guys is you don't want to farm ingredients that don't match up to make you a single cookie you need to have that right blue with that right green you see what i'm saying for instance i was getting multifaceted kills with kind powder and this was giving me the cookies to give the test and that was during my afk farm now you can set up a macro i'm not saying you should but you can but you cannot sit here in a sunspot like you saw in that other farm that we were doing. It just doesn't work as well. And really, you need to be actually using your weapons to get these kills. And if you move too close to the spawn point, the ads won't spawn. So you got to be backed up a little bit. So again, guys, those are the two best farm myths. There is one more, and it's actually in the second encounter of the Ghost in the Deep Dungeon. Now, this is a little more difficult, but the ad density is really good. But you can kill these ads in a variety of ways, and they just keep coming. Literally, you can sit here and kill ads all day long. Now, what I've been told is that the ad frequency is so high, the game itself and in the ingredients itself can't keep up so that some of the kills you're getting are kind of wasted. So maybe space out the kills a little bit. Regardless though, that is another
another method. So guys, that is your donning event. Those are your farm methods. Again, make sure before you really start targeting any of this loot that you have those upgrades. Take those donning spirits, spin them on the upgrades, guys. Get those extra traits in the left and right columns as this will greatly improve your odds of getting that perfect god roll. Well, fellas and ladies, thank you all for coming and watching. And as always, slap that like button like your mama told you right. Thank you.